Tonight on Bird Gear, I drive through a cave. I drive on a road. And I drive with explosions. All of that tonight on Bird Gear. This is where we started off. The deserts of Afghanistan. And we started off in the most appropriate way. Are we appropriate jobs for this though? You know, we're just civilians. So is this like Top Gear in Gary's mod form? Today on Top Gear, two men drive across the Afghan desert on a thing with a toilet. Oh god, drive faster! Power! We're under attack! We're under attack by Taliban forces! Evasive maneuvers! Power! Power! As you could see, we were well prepared for the journey across the Afghanistan desert. With this amazing battle tank that we had purchased from the locals, we felt fully protected. Power! James, why did you buy such an inferior device? You're not James. Nonetheless, we believed that our armoured vehicle could protect us from anything the Afghanistan Taliban could throw at us. Get it, 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 get it. Yes! Go, 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 go! Come on, James! Get in before you're killed! We had completed one of the unwritten challenges. The producers had actually left us body armor. Very kind of them. This thing has so many gears. Gear one. No! Stay away from us! Gear two. Third gear. Fourth gear. No! Apparently, some of the locals had decided they wanted to murder us, so we figured it was a good idea to head back towards the garage and prepare our battle vehicle for combat. No, no. Okay. There are no headlights. Damn. Quick, Damn. Can, oh wait, wait. You can build. Uh, can you build a lot of torches? Get in, get in. We had found a garage. Now we just needed to get inside. <laughs> yeah, way. It's the challenge set by the producers. To evade the Taliban. Wow, this is a really hard surface to drive on. Taliban. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Now we, we can cue the music. See how good a driver I am, James! Hey, is there any chance this would fit in the elevator? There's only one way to find out! POWER! <laughs> Through my excellent driving skill of POWER, we had gotten into the lift and were going down into the garret in preparation for our dangerous journey in Afghanistan. The forces of evil! Because we're here on good terms of something. So, this is our workshop, uh, back back there, and we've got Hammond to join us now, who has lost his voice apparently, which is fine, fine, because you know, he probably had his voice box transmuted with his hair. Okay, now we've got to cue the music.
As the sun slowly rose over the desert, we got a look at our new vehicle in the daylight. What? I'm gonna explain to you what this is. Okay, well, it's our vehicle we built earlier, but there's additions to it. What? What? Why? What? 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 What have you done in the workshop? What happened in the workshop? What we've done is uh, we've taken it to the next level, adding uh, next generation stuff that has, that the world has never seen before. Um, quite simply, to put it into words, I mean, words cannot justify how awesome this is, but you know. This teapot, for example, this is some next generation stuff that you'll probably never see again. Is that a sat nav? It's very innovative. Or a microwave. Uh, it could be both. And we've got a globe! This is brilliant! And a sniper rifle! We're well protected from the hordes of ignominious people around here who are mean. This is fantastic. Now, now I believe um, the producers gave me the, the challenge. Is that correct? Should I just read it? Yes, I should read it. Yes. Surprise, surprise. So, the challenge is that we are to take some local people to the local town. And then local things will happen. Who are these local people? Is that, is that one of the locals? Yeah. As it turned out, the locals were very, very friendly. Yeah. Out and E, my friend. Perfect. Sit on the toilet. Sit on the toilet. That's what it's there for. <laughs> Sit yes, sit on the toilet! <laughs> Out and E. And in no time flat, we were on our way to the town. We're going to town with power! Yeah! Power! Power! <laughs> so, what, what do you locals do? I must admit, I ended up regretting having asked them what the locals did. We are, we are local murderers, I guess. And we or got kidnappers. Three. Nonetheless, I trusted the producers. I'm sure, you know, it's not like I murdered their kids recently or anything like that. The sniper rifle. Ah, the sniper rifle! Somebody somebody pulled the trigger! No, it's too late now. I, I can't aim at him now. So, we're just going into the town. Oh god, there's gunfire! Evasive maneuvers! Evasive power maneuvers! Power! Okay, okay, I think we lost them. Okay, so have we just got to wait out here whilst you do your business, or, or can we get inside? Yes, that, that, oh, there we go! Yes! Yes! We're here, we're in the town! Yes, this is the greatest town I've ever been. Oh, I just ran someone over. Okay, we will, um, the producer said we have to wait here, so... We waited in trepidation to see just what the local murderer kidnapping evil dudes were doing. Yeah, this town is pretty empty. I wonder why it's so empty. Yes! Oh god, did he actually come along on his own request? I just get him on! We, we should get out of here! It seemed he had gotten in under his own request, and he was so excited that he couldn't figure out how to sit down. I'm sure he'll agree. Ah, there's a policeman! Yes. Uh, hi, Mr. Policeman, this is a perfectly legal vehicle. It was at this point we realised the locals we brought the vehicle off hadn't given us the paperwork for the vehicle, and we were a tad worried, to say the least. We then realised if we were going to get out of here alive, we had to sneak things up. Done! We must go before the military is set up! Where, where, where are we going? Yes! Power! Now, we've got, I've got to deliver you to uh, the... Tollyboon Base, the producers have texted me. So we're going to the Tollyboon Base. We were out of the city and on the way to the Tollyboon Base. For once, we actually felt safe. They like to blow stuff up and. I think it's Charles Dalla 
It was here that we learned that the Taliban were an incredibly dangerous force, hell-bent on doing things that are not particularly nice, and that we should be really, really careful when sneaking into their building and using their garage. Nonetheless, we were to deliver these men to the Taliban. Uh, okay. So use your admin powers, wink wink. I'm Jeremy Clarkson, I have no admin powers. Yeah, I'm only Jameson Buckaroonie. Yeah. Despite the locals reassuring messages, the Taliban weren't really very happy. Hey, Boone! Hey! 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 This is a social experiment. Come on, open up. We're, we're from Top Gear, well, Middle Gear. Um, we, we've been sent here by the producers. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! We learned that the Taliban were very good negotiators at getting us to go away. But then I got the bright idea to test our armor. Now we're gonna take them head on. Ah! No! Ah! Fire! The TV's on fire! The television's on fire! Oh god! Oh god! The armor projection on this stupid vehicle James had brought had failed to protect the engine, but we were still alive. Ah, they broke General Smiley Face! They broke General Smiley Face! The television's on fire! A friendly local mechanic decided to give us a hand. It's still moving! Come on! Oh no! Did he get his on it? Oh god, no! Oh, they killed him! That, that was, that was his mortar. He had one day left to retirement. Oh shit, what do we do now? What do we do? What do we do? Whoa. This is the greatest armored vehicle ever. We have designed a fantastic weapon. If only we could have guns on this, or oh, we got one, then we could kill everything in sight. The 300 mile thick armor was standing up well to the Taliban bullets, but how long would it last? I'll initiate it. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop. The Taliban were so frustrated they were killing they're themselves. So, as they're so amazed by our machinery, they're killing themselves. This is surely a very important thing. And with that, back to the studio because we're going to die now. And then James died. And no one cared. Oh, he's there he is. So I decided to surrender, but God had given me the greatest gift of all. And then I remembered that I hadn't unguarded myself. Whoopsie! I surrender! Do 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 do